Baby, you a masterpiece. God took his time on you. Always on my mind, but I'd rather have my mind on you. Beauty is defined on you. Perfectly designed on you. If you see your flaws, let this play and roll on. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, the short side, and I'm back with another video for you today. Just as a disclaimer, Bentley is in the room. I got him a nice little treat. So if you hear some snorting or something crazy going on, that's him. He minded his business. Okay, let him mind his business, okay? You are looking to invest in your life a little bit, ain't you? This video is all about how I invested in myself. And when I say invested, I'm not necessarily meaning money. I'm talking about intention. Investing in myself was all about how I could be the absolute best person that I want to be. And if you are wanting to be your best self, you have to invest in it. You have to invest time, you have to invest energy, and yeah, you might have to invest a little bit of money too. I aspire to be my best self and I just don't feel like that is something that I can do if I'm not well rounded and taking care of myself. And also just remembering that you can't pour from an empty cup. So I have six ways that I've invested in myself in the last six months to a year. Let's get into it. The first one is my diet. And I feel like I talk about my diet all the time, but guys, it is very important to watch what you put in your body. I personally, I have a complicated diet, okay? Let's not, not too much. I am dairy free and I'm like 70% plant based. I do dibble and dabble into like seafood. I personally feel like as long as you're not doing things excessively, it can't hurt and like I said, it's my life. I also make a daily effort to drink my daily intake of water. You guys know I have an Owala water bottle. It is 32 ounces. So as long as I'm drinking about two of those in one day, that's personally enough water, I feel like, for me. But just ensuring that you're getting a good amount of water intake, um, not drinking so much alcohol, so much caffeine. And I'm talking to myself as well because I do enjoy a nice crafted cocktail every now and again. I also have recently started incorporating vitamins into my life now I'm gonna be honest with y'all I do not swallow pills that's never been my ministry I'm not doing it but there are a lot of alternatives to taking vitamins they have liquid vitamins and they have gummy vitamins and so that's more so what I kind of do I like to take my gummy vitamins and I also take liquid ashwagandha liquid magnesium I'm also looking to add in some more vitamins like collagen and proteins and stuff like that just to make sure I'm putting all of the good into my body and also helping all of the bad to come out you know what I'm saying watching what you put into your body can keep you from being bloated helps with your gut health and you know gut health is like directly connected to like anxiety and depression and even like your focus so I'm just very cognizant about what I do in regard to that which segues way into another way that I invested into myself was taking care of my physical health if you watch my blogs consistently y'all know I work out I'm a workout girly I like to get in the gym and stay fit and not only just working out but like stretching making sure I stay flexible and limber because you will be surprised at how many adults cannot touch their toes staying fit and staying flexible is just very important to me I want to be able to stay fit and flexible in my 30s and my 40s and my 50s like I want to always like got it you know what I'm saying and I feel like when you incorporate physical activity into your day-to-day -day life as much as we don't want to hear it it really helps with your mental health and just helps with your overall health as well I also lately have been in incorporating getting a lot more fresh air and sunlight. Bentley kind of forces me to go out and like take walks and get fresh air. Even if it's for like 15 to 20 minutes a day, that vitamin D is very important. Y'all know it's a bunch of us around here with vitamin D deficiencies because we've been in the house since 2020. Go out and get some sunlight, babe, and it's even hot outside, so you kind of really don't have an excuse. And then also getting enough sleep. I've recently realized the importance of getting enough sleep and I'll admit, um, I'm still working on that. It's not necessarily because I'm not getting to bed on time, y'all. I just need a new mattress. I need a new whole shebang for my bed. The older you get, you need a good mattress and you need some good pillows. And I'm realizing that I'm gonna have to actually invest in those things as well. That's another way that I will be investing in myself in 2023 because y'all, the mattress I got got to go. While we're on the topic of health, 
the third way that I've invested in myself is my mental health. And I'm going to include my mental and spiritual health because for me, I feel like it intertwines. I have been in therapy for the last six months. And personally, I feel like the character development is character developing. My therapist is very, very helpful with just like putting things into perspective and helping me with like overthinking, perfection, like my past traumas, all of the things like therapy is amazing. And I know that it is um, a luxury for a lot of people um, but if you can afford therapy I highly recommend or just buying like shadow work books or like self-help books I think those can also be very helpful as well as long as you're willing to put in the work I also say that again my mental health and my spiritual health is intertwined I personally believe that it is very important to tap in with a higher spiritual power for me personally that is Jesus Christ thank you very much however I know that a lot of people practice a lot of different spiritual practices so whoever or whatever you worship um, I definitely recommend tapping in with them to make sure that you are just all put together and all well because y'all the spiritual world is real the Bible says that our biggest battle is against the spirit world and not this physical world so make sure you write spiritually okay and then also watching the things I consume movies TV shows music social media like I think in the last two to three months i'm just realizing the importance of what i consume i can't watch some of the same movies i used to watch i can't listen to some of the same music because that low vibrational high vibrational stuff that stuff is real like really think about it there's people who've done studies on plants at the type of music that plants listen to and how like the plant blossomed and bloomed and looked so beautiful versus plants that listen to like more low vibrational music and the plant was all sad and stuff like really watch like what you are consuming with like the books you read and just all the things that you can consume in a day-to-day -day life i know that you can't always control every single last thing that gets you know within you or whatever but like really just try your best i listen to a lot more jazz i listen to a lot more gospel i listen to neo soul but i also just watch the lyrics because some of the lyrics be doing a little too much for me like i just like to listen to very like uplifting music the fourth way that i've invested myself is with my finances i do have a financial advisor who basically helps me make sure my budgets are on track and make sure i'm on the right track with like my financial goals my long-term goals my credit all of the things my financial advisor is goaded i just feel like some of the things that i'm doing now in my 20s will matter in my 30s my 40s and my 50s and baby, your girl trying to get to that money. Please just make sure that you are tapping into your finances, where your finances are going, what you're doing. Become more disciplined about budgeting and it will definitely pay off in the long run. I'll be so honest with y'all. I've been grocery shopping lately and not eating out and I just feel like I save so much money. And I know it's like, duh, but like, no, for real. Like when you start practicing your budgeting and like actually putting it into play, like, it's really just phenomenal at how much at how much money you save. Fifth way I've invested into myself is actually investing in my tribe, the people around me, like the relationships that I foster. Um, and no, I don't have a man yet, but just spending time with my friends. My friends do understand that I'm very busy, but when I'm able to, I make time to hang out with them, to spend time with them, ask them about their life make sure we're having you know conversations about real life stuff instead of just being very very surface level because oftentimes your friends are going through some of the same things you're going through and you're not talking about it so practicing vulnerability and then also making the effort regarding relationships to understand the people in my life like and not just like see them as oh this is my friend this is how they were but like actually growing and changing with the people in my life and just having an understanding of why they act the way they act or why they do some of the things they do um that has that has been very pivotal for me and it just really makes me a lot more grateful um that you know the people in my life choose to allow me into their life my friends are so genuine they're so loving and um i just want to make sure that i am appreciating the people that are here and i really have just been making my best effort to show up the way that i want to be shown up for and then the last way that i've invested in myself and this one's just a little bit vain just a little bit 
but my wardrobe and my physical appearance. Recently, when I've been shopping for clothes, I have been buying more neutral color, more capsule type things so that I can have some of these pieces for years. Just everyday pieces that I can wear season after season. I don't negate from buying colorful pieces because I really like colorful pieces. However, statement pieces tend to get reached for less. And if I do buy a very colorful statement piece, I still want it to be a statement piece that I can wear more than once. Cause baby, I'm not above wearing something twice. I will wear it again and I'm gonna wear it a different way and the outfit's still gonna be busting, okay, period. I've also been investing in higher quality clothes and staying away from fast fashion. So spending that extra 10, $15 on a nicer quality sweater or a nicer quality blazer or some better quality jeans, I feel like really is gonna go a long way within my wardrobe as well. I'll I'll be honest, I'm not gonna say that I just don't parlay the fast fashion brands because sometimes I do. However, I've been trying to focus on more brands that I know will have a little bit more longevity in my closet. And then just paying attention to my physical appearance, like making sure I do all of my maintenance, my brows, my mustache, my toes, just all of my general physical maintenance, making sure my hair stays done, making sure I don't go out in public looking any y'all type of way because you never know who you're running to. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I go to the grocery store to gas station I'm looking a little dusty hey but for the most part if I know I'm gonna be out the house for a couple of hours I make my best effort to really like look like somebody child okay and because of this I feel like I'm very very confident when I show up in the world and I feel really good about myself and yeah so yeah these are some of the ways that I've invested in myself in the last year or so I'll be honest I do see a tremendous difference in my day-to-day -day life I'm very very happy about that and I will continue to find ways to improve my life and you know just be the best girl I can be because y'all know I'm all about doing better being better and looking fabulous while doing so baby don't play if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment let's have a conversation and share this with one of your homegirls that you think might need it. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more cool content. And subscribe, babe. I make a lot of content like this. You can scroll through my old videos. My vlogs are entertaining and I would love to have you a part of the crew. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.